everybody, my name is Kelsey and I work for PHE Canada. Today I'm going to be cooking with you in my kitchen. Today we're going to learn about an activity that we have um, in the PHE Canada Home Learning Centre and it's called Multiple Ways to Cook It. And it's a great resource to use um, with students in grades 7 to 12 to, to teach them about ways to incorporate healthy eating into their everyday lives. So, for this activity, you're going to need paper and pen, as well as the food you're going to be cooking. For me today, it's going to be eggs, and then any other materials you're going to need to cook. Um, the paper and pen you're going to use to brainstorm and jot down some different uh, ingredients that you can cook in many different ways. Um, and then the ingredient that I picked, for example, is eggs. So then as we go through a few things to know before we actually start cooking as well, you're gonna want parental supervision anytime that you use the stove or the oven, um, or you need to cut anything with any sharp knives. Um, just make sure you have someone near you to help you with, um, with anything that you need aid with. So um, also before we start cooking, we always have to make sure we have to wash our hands and make sure all of our materials are uh, ready to go for cooking. So the purpose of this whole activity is to be able to help you guys figure out that there are many ways that you can cook certain ingredients. And we'll go through that in a little bit. Um, and then also to understand the process of how each thing can be cooked individually in different ways to still come up with a delicious dish. Um, finally, your result's gonna be a quick and easy activity um, that produces a yummy meal or snack that can be um, transformed into many different ways. So to start, I'm going to wash my hands. Anytime we cook in the kitchen, we have to make sure that our hands are clean and that our hair, if you have longer hair, is tied back. So before we started, I decided to jot down a few things that I knew that you could cook multiple different ways. So as you see, you can cook potatoes a bunch of ways, chicken, rice, corn, tofu. But for today's activity, the one item that I chose was eggs. So then as I thought more about it, I thought, how many ways can you cook eggs? So I decided to jot that down on a piece of paper, all the different ways that I could come up with that you could cook an egg. Um, underlined are the examples that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. So we have fried, scrambled, and hard boiled eggs. So before we start cooking, we're gonna need items like a pan, as well as a pot, um, some cooking spray, and we're gonna need water for the hard boiled eggs to cook in. Um, so join me in a bit when we start to cook our ingredients. way we're going to cook our egg is we're going to hard boil it. So if you want to come closer, we'll see that what we need for that is a pot filled halfway with water and a cover for it. So to start, um, you could have an adult supervise you here, but you're going to go to the oven, select the burner that you need, and turn it on to high heat because we want our water to start with a boil. So you're going to cover it to make it boil faster, and then once the boiling has started, then you can put your egg inside. So as we can see, after we've waited for a bit, the water is boiling. So what you're gonna do then is take one of your eggs and plop it gently into the water and cover it only partially and turn it down to a medium heat. You let the egg cook for somewhere between 15 to 18 minutes, depending on your preference. But when it's done, you let it cool down and then when it's um, cool enough to touch, you crack it open and you take all of the pieces of the shell off. So bear with me as I do that with this egg. Once the shell's off, transfer it to a plate, take a knife and you can cut it in half and you can see the yolk is all hard. So now that we know how to cook a hard boiled egg, the next way we're gonna learn to cook an egg is a fried egg. So what you're gonna need for that is a pan, a spatula, and something like cooking spray or butter, margarine, coconut oil, um, or olive oil, anything that you have available in your pantry. So we're gonna take this, grab an egg, and we'll come over to the stove. So remember, any time that we use a stove to cook, we would like adult supervision when we use it. So we're gonna take our spray, shake it up a bit, and then if you wanna come over a little closer, we're gonna spray it in the pan so that the egg doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Next, we're gonna go and select an egg. And to crack it, I usually just use the side of the pan. Make sure you don't get any little pieces of the shell within the egg. A couple taps, break it open, and there you have it. So in order 
to cook our egg. We're gonna cook it on medium temperature, so find your burner and turn it on to medium. Personally, I like my eggs over easy, so I'm not gonna cook it for as long. But if you like your fried egg over medium or over hard, which means the yolk gets a bit harder, you're gonna have to cook it a little bit longer. So over easy means that it's gonna be a little bit more runny. And as the egg cooks, you can choose to add any type of spices or salt and pepper, whatever you wanna to use to give it a little bit more flavor. So if you wanna take a look, the way that we know an egg is ready to be flipped is when the whites actually become white and not see-through anymore. So as we can tell, the egg is ready to be flipped. So you take your spatula and do a quick motion right underneath and flip your egg. So to test to see if your egg is done, if you wanna come over, take your spatula and just touch the yolk a little bit. So because I like my egg a little over easy, which means the yolk is a bit softer, we can tell that it's done and ready to be eaten. Quick motion and serve on a plate. So now that we've finished making our fried egg, as well as our hard boiled egg, the next way we're gonna to choose to make an egg is a scrambled egg. As you can see, so when you scramble an egg, you take a fork, a whisk, and you stir up the egg as fast as you can, flicking your wrist like this. Now on scrambled eggs, some people choose to add spices like salt and pepper, some people can add their favorite type of milk. Um, today I'm just gonna go simple, I just have some salt and pepper in here. And so then once we get started, we're gonna take our, make our way over to the stove and we're gonna start to cook the egg. So just like a fried egg, you're gonna take some cooking spray, olive oil, coconut oil, whatever you have, and prep the pan, just so that the egg doesn't stick to it when you make it. Next, take your mixture, and you're gonna pour it right in the middle of the pan, as such. Then you're gonna go to your heat and turn it on medium heat. Our heat is on, and we're just gonna continue with the motion of our spatula of scrambling the egg together. So as you can see, the clumps are starting to form and the egg is starting to harden, and we keep this motion going. Scrambled eggs is a super quick and easy recipe to make, especially if you're having eggs in the morning and you're on the go, or you need a quick snack that's full of protein. So you're gonna scramble your eggs all the way until you start to see little clumps form as such, and then you see no more liquid left in the egg. So as we can see now, the scrambled eggs are all ready because there's no liquid left visible to the eye and the eggs are all hard and ready to be consumed. So what you do is you bring them close in a pile. Now this was only one egg. If you're making eggs for your family or you're more serving sizes, you can put in more eggs, but I only use one today. So you're gonna do a quick scooping motion underneath the egg and transfer onto a plate. Thank you all so much for joining me as we learned to cook the multiple ways that you can cook an egg. Just for a refresher, if we want to take a look. Today we cooked a fried egg, which was done over easy, scrambled egg, and a hard boiled egg. So as we can tell, all of these types of eggs use the exact same ingredient, but they all came out with different sizes, textures, and tastes. Um, so this is a really great way to learn about how to cook an ingredient in multiple different ways. So you can do the exact same thing with chicken, rice, tofu, as we stated earlier. So once you're finished, you can think about what you did throughout your activity, and you can come up with a few answers to a couple of reflection questions. So for example, how many different ways did you learn to cook the food? Or how do you think being able to cook a food in various ways might support budgeting for groceries? So with that note, I hope you guys had a great day and were able to learn a few ways to cook an egg. Thank you so much.